Queen Elizabeth II made a joke about her own death in a hilarious moment with David Attenborough. David Attenborough's The Green Planet returns tonight on BBC One as the nature expert explores the hidden world full of plants. Tonight's episode features a look at familiar plants like dandelions, daisies and nettles. Viewers will also be taken to Australia to take a look at the hammer orchid, which imitates a female wasp and drives the males crazy. Mr. Attenborough is held in high regard for his stunning documentaries on the animal kingdom and the natural world. Among his many admirers is Queen Elizabeth II, who met with Mr. Attenborough last year for the Queen's Green Planet. The Queen also launched the charity The Queen's Green Canopy in honor of her Platinum Jubilee year in 2022 with the aim to encourage everyone to plant more trees. As the two national treasures discuss the scheme, the Queen made a cheeky, yet morbid joke. Speaking about how climate change will have an impact on the trees presented to the monarch over the next 50 years, the Queen Dash who has planted over 1,500 trees all over the world Dash quipped, I won't be here though. Sir David chuckled at the joke as the Queen grinned in footage of the pair captured by ITV. Sir David told the Radio Times at the time that he was nervous about the project with the Queen. He said, yes. There was a certain amount of apprehension because all sorts of things could have gone wrong. There were problems in that where the palace is, geographically, there are always police sirens and ambulance sirens that make filming difficult. He added, but she took it all in her stride. It was a privilege of course, a very nice occasion. And she was very gracious. She is very unsolemn, very good at putting people at their ease. In 1986, the Queen rewarded Sir David's work with a knighthood. But a year later, they reportedly clashed while working together for a BBC production. Sir David was reportedly told off by the Queen during filming for a broadcast after he suggested she change costume. The naturalist reportedly suggested the outfit change because the one she was wearing clashed with the background of the shot. According to reports in 2018 from the Radio Times, the Queen replied, There is no pleasing you people from the media. I am told by one lot that I have to wear something colorful so I can be seen in a crowd. And then you come along and tell me that I have to wear something pale and nondescript. He also spoke about the incident in an interview with the magazine. Sir David explained, I picked out something that was mushroom, colored, and we were waiting for the Queen in the East Block where her apartments were and the Queen came out of this rackety old lift and she said, I hope you approve of my costume. Sir David's appreciation for the Queen can be traced way back to 1963. At the time, he was working as a controller at the BBC, and had become extremely upset after the corporation aired the controversial documentary The Royal Family. The film, which only aired once in 1969 and was later pulled by the Queen, was the first time the royals had allowed cameras into their day, too. Day Life. Royal biographer Ingrid Seward said Sir David was so concerned about the film going out he told the BBC you're killing the monarchy. You know, with this film you're making. The Telegraph reports that he went as far as writing an official objection to the film. In it, he said, the whole institution depends on this teak and the tribal chief in his hut. If any member of the tribe ever sees inside the hut, then the whole system of the tribal chiefdom is damaged and the tribe eventually disintegrates. 